Uh, hi everyone. I uh, hope everyone is good and safe. Uh, so today we are going to discuss about the uh, reporting for our very old client, QA Park University. So before that, uh, myself, I'm Naveen. I'm a project manager in EFDAS Info Solutions, and EFDAS is a model partner. And today we are going to discuss about the, uh, you know, how we help the QA Park University with the reporting. So the reporting. Is one of the key a key feature for any university or any college or any school, you know, to analyze the data and uh, take a crucial decision. So that's where uh, we want to give the case study on the reporting for the DV part university. So I think uh, I was expecting Abhishek to join with me. I think that he has some audio issues. Uh, Abhishek, still you there? Uh, yeah. Hi, Naveen. Uh, yeah. I am audible. Yeah, perfect. That's great. So, yeah, Abhishek is a LMS administrator. So, yeah. Please, Abhishek. So, hi, everyone. I am Abhishek Kumar. So, I am currently working as a LMS manager at DY Patil University. So, I am helping our university to manage all the online learning management needs using the Moodle based custom e learning platform. Okay. So, uh, next, I will talk. Uh, I will tell you about the what issues we are facing earlier in terms of LMS reporting. So uh, in DY Party University, as Naveen told you, we have 13 instances. So uh, 13 instances has around 10,000 students plus faculties. So managing these many user statistics manually from multiple instances are very difficult. And frankly speaking, it's a very uh, time taking activity because we have to go one by one and download the report and then compiling all report to analyze the performance of the students as well as the faculties. So uh, as we have a centralized team, we have to look into the entire 13 colleges of the university. So uh, also management needs and demanding reports timely. So we are getting stuck on this part. So what we have planned, we have planned to streamline the LMS reporting with the help of e Abhyas team. So e Abhyas team is custom report builder tool where all the 13 instance statics are there with graphical presentation. So uh, this custom report builder tools help us a lot to track perform performance of the LMS user. And as well as we are providing reports timely to our management team and all of the faculties who are required of these reports. So right now, uh, this is very helpful tool. So Naveen, I will take you through more details of this custom builder tool. So you can uh, just give brief about this tool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks, Abhishek. So yeah, as Abhishek mentioned, uh, you know, uh, the reporting is a crucial part for them. You know, when it comes to the engagement of the students and they want to track everything, uh, how the content is working and how students are performing or not. You know, students are participating. So it's more of like a management is concentrating more on uh, how the students are interacting with LMS. So the major. Uh, are you guys can hear me fine? I saw the message that it's much slower. Okay, so yeah, so that's that's a main a main uh, disadvantage with the you know uh, existing thing. So they have uh, like thirteen different colleges. Each college has its own Moodle instance, and they have reports and data in, in their own instance. So the in university is looking for the dashboard. Are reports which consolidate all this data in a single uh, platform so that they just want to see the data on a single uh, dashboard page so that's where we are uh, we want to implement this uh, solution for them where they can consolidate all the data into a single dashboard page and they can view the data and they, uh, this uh, this will improve the engagement of the students and they, they can track the uh, student uh, active logins and uh, you know faculties pa participation in the LMS and the content rating kind of thing. So that's where uh, we introduce the tool LearnerScript. 
okay so learner script uh, is a your best plugin uh, it's a it's a your best product so we just want to use this tool to help them uh, with the reporting so learner script has a lot of interesting features to help them like uh, they have it has the dashboard management where user can create their own dashboards maybe instructor or it may be administrator or anyone so that they can have their own dashboard to track the data or view the data and the dashboard uh, you know represents the data in a graphical format nice charts and graphs so that it will be easy easy to easy for them to understand the data and how the trends are going on and they can download the reports in a different format and the scheduling part is very much important for them you know they don't want to log into the system every time to check the data to check the report so what we have here is the scheduling a report so that they can schedule it for monthly or weekly or daily basis so that they can have the report to their email uh, inbox as an attachment so that will be very much useful for them and also we don't want to put a lot of load on the existing moodle instances so that's the reason we have a separate instance for this reporting where we are you know sync all the data into single instance and from there we are just fetching the data to you know uh, display the dashboard of this reports and also you know uh, administrator want to create their own reports they want to you know completely customize their own reports and dashboards so we, we are giving much flexibility for them to you know uh, create their own reports and dashboards that's how uh, we introduce the learner script so now we are going to see you know uh, what are the different type of reports we given to the dba portal uh, using the learner script and how these reports are uh, useful for them yeah as you can see this is the dba portal university dashboard reporting dashboard and this dashboard will fetch the data from all 13 moodle instances i mean all 13 different colleges of dba portal university and uh, on this dashboard i think uh, the screenshot is not much visible but you know uh, I, i'll just walk you through the each and every report on this dashboard so this dashboard will just give the brief of you know participation of the students and the content uh, and the faculty participation okay. so here's the first report where school wise students talk and report as you can see the percentage there for each college of the university how much percentage of students are active and how many percentage of students are inactive so as you can see in a different like architecture there is a 65% inactive student so that they can understand that which college is participating more on the you know this particular platform so that they can just go ahead and take a particular action so this will this report will give you for last 30 days so that you can have a active data for last 30 days so that they, based on that they can take the decision of which college is performing well kind of thing and next we have a content hit rate you know management a dva portal university management more concern about student engagement and why students are not using the lms so uh, you know if you, if you want to make the student use the lms properly and you just need to have a very good content with you so that's the reason management want to more concentrated on this content part so they just want to see how the content is performing so all different type of contents which type which content type is more popular which content is uh, type is uh, viewed by more students so that kind of report we have where uh, we going to uh, you know track the student content report and again here you can see the chart clearly stating you know how many active and inactive students are there so our job is to you know improve that active students so there are like 57% and 32% they just want to, they just need to improve based on the you know, it may be the content issues it may be the uh, faculty's participation or there may be a lot of a lot of things involving in this active participation of the students yeah this one is very much important when you want to track the faculty's participation in this lms so uh, you know each uh, each college uh, in each, each semester how the faculty is performing how much content they are uploading and how how students are taking it okay so we just want to give a report from all the colleges again you know all different colleges we just we just want to give information from all the college faculty so that management can focus on the content more from the faculty
yeah this is this is one of the, one of the uh, important thing like teaching notes most engaging teaching notes this is one more fe uh, crucial feature to improve the engagement of the students uh, the which engaging uh, teaching notes are more popular so based on that uh, you know they can improve the content more to engage the people in the university yeah uh, i think that's that's uh, about you know how we implemented the reporting tool for the tv patel and how how we help them with the uh, you know this reporting i think after this reporting thing uh, they have they they see a lot of change when it comes to the engagement of the students and they are using more and administration is taking very good decisions using this report and dashboard uh, i think uh, abhishek do you have anything to add to it yeah navin i will add few things here so basically uh, it will a great tool to help the engage and engagement students more into the lms because uh, when uh, i have joined dy patel so it's a time where students are uh, not much using lms so uh, with these with the help of this tool we have engaged most of the students so when i have joined it's around 30% of the users of the lms on a monthly basis in a dy party university but uh, is, but right now the uses of the lms is come up around uh, 80 to 85% so it's a, it's a drastically improvement which we have shown and it will possible because the help of this tool because you know analytics is the very important thing and prepared our text to create our reports so uh, yeah i say this will be a great great tool so thank you navin and e abhyas team to uh, provide us this tool and yeah that's it from my side okay yeah thank you thank you abhishek and uh, if anyone have any questions please let me know you know we still have time for a few questions if anybody has any i think the few people are typing yep i think there is a question plugin is added and we have to create a dashboard for each participant that is that that's it i believe uh no i think you know uh, it's not about user uh, user wise dashboard setup it's kind of a role wise dashboard setup if you set up a dashboard for a teacher or a student uh, it will be available for all different uh, you know students or teachers with that role so that they can have the dashboard their own data it may be like their own course that course related data uh the which plugin we are using yeah the, we we use the learner script uh, report plugin yeah yeah uh, we face a lot of challenges challenges when it comes to you know uh, seeing the data between multiple colleges so we were just having uh, you know issues with the performance of loading putting load on the different instances so we just don't want to put a load on different instances at the same time we want to have a, a live data so we don't want to miss any data when uh, administrator viewing the report so yeah we we had challenges with the uh, multiple instances and the performance related things learner script provides syncing to a central report yeah uh, learner script doesn't provide that kind of a uh, solution but we did it exclusively for dwe patel you know uh, as they have certain different colleges but uh, by default learner script plugin uh, will not provide that kind of sync process we just did for the dwe patel yeah so reason for jump from 30 to 80% is uh, basically we are getting stuck earlier to analyze the data because uh, our whole day is going to prepare a, a report and then uh, we are going to push our faculties and student to use the lms so uh, right now what is happening we, uh, we have the analytics tool so on a daily basis on, in the morning we can just send the report so uh, more faculties into it hope that that's all questions uh, thank you everyone okay. yes. thank you everybody for the session bye yeah thank, thank you, you. Everyone.